Hello. Jim? Yes. This is Erico Nam. How are you? I'm doing fine. I've got a couple of vodka and tonics tonight. <laughs> Not interested. Thank you for your encouragement. I am so happy. Your great support. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your interrogation video, uh, interrogation. I'm not here to harass you. I would swear on my mother's grave. Never. I just want to say I'm a big fan. Okay. You want to fuck me? Yes, I want to fuck you. Okay, I'm turning around. How, are, you, are you doing better? Am I better? Yeah. I'm great. Good. I'm down here and and the bears are looking for my are looking for my dick. Good. <laughs> You're supposed to laugh, damn it. <laughs> 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 okay. Good. Okay. More rush calls, please. Okay. Thank you for your encouragement. I am so happy. Your great support. Thank you. I love you. Okay. Okay. I don't have much to say. I didn't think you'd answer, to be honest. But I, I do. I do love your uh, your uh, interrogation video. I'm not. I, I, I said I'm not here to make make fun or anything. I just I'm a huge fan, and I'm kind of drunk right now. So I called. I looked up your number, and I found it. I didn't think you'd answer. I didn't even think this was the right number. Well, I, I I don't know if it really is. Now this no, this is you, Jim. I I can tell by your uh, inflection. Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. More rush calls, please. I don't think so. Are Are you still? Uh, shit, I really don't know what to say. Are you ready to have my thing in your mouth? Yes. Thank you for your encouragement. I am so happy. Your great support. Thank you. I love you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you still in music? Yes. Cool. Hey, cool. listen, listen. Do you want to fuck me? For sex, I am not coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do you, do you get a lot of calls like, like weirdos from me? Wanting to say hi? No. Oh, good. I like to suck on toes. Okay. Okay. I have a serious fetish for boots. Okay. I don't even know how you got my number. Oh, I, I searched on Google. Where did you find it on Google? Uh, I, I searched your name. And I found it. That's strange. Yeah. It's an unlisted number. Oh, really? It was easy to, it was actually pretty easy to find. Well, then I'll quit, then I'll quit paying for that. Well, I, I promise I won't harass you. I would swear on my mother's grave. Never. I just want to talk to you tonight. Is that okay? Uh, just shortly. I'm ready to go to bed. I just, uh, you're lucky I haven't got, you even got me now. I'm watching the Cowboys game right now. Yeah, I I watched the first uh, the first half. It's it's completely changed. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it on here in a minute and fall asleep to it. <laughs> Where are you from? I, I'm from Texas. And you, you know what? I used to I used to I won't say which company it is. I used to work for a company that uh, partnered with uh, University of Cincinnati uh, online programs. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that, that's kind of a weird connection. But I, I've been a, a, a fan of yours for many years. Well, let me, let me ask you this. It, 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 being uh, online, with, uh, what, did you take a course? I didn't, no. Okay. Because I work, you know, I, I, obviously you know that I, I, I worked for UC for quite a while. 
I know. I, I, I almost can. I can almost recite your. Uh, your. I, I, and I'm not. I'm not trying to put you down. I. I just. I would swear on my mother's grave. Never. I am a big fan of the. Uh, the video. The one that was on. The one that was televised. No, the one that's on YouTube. Yeah, I think that's one that was televised at one time. I like you. Are you interested? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How did it, uh, how did it, uh, how did it change your life, I guess? Well, so many things have happened since, 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 uh, my interrogation. What? If you, uh, this is the one question I've always wanted to ask you, is if you worked for the uh, criminal justice program in Cincinnati, why didn't you just remain silent? Because my my role was, was that, that was a big mistake, by the way. Uh, as I look back on it, that was probably my biggest mistake. Mm-hmm. But then again, I had law, I had lawyers that should have should have been able to solve some of the problems they didn't solve. They just they just marked me off. Anyway, uh, to answer your question, I my role with the University of Cincinnati with criminal justice was not as as an authority in criminal justice. I was I was a technology right. person. Right. And because of my tech, because of my technology, I, I just, I would, uh, I didn't even look at the content. The content was developed by all the, all the professors on staff. And all I would do is put it up so it would, uh, was feasible for the students. So I wasn't, you know, it wasn't like I, I, I knew what to do. <laughs> My fir- my first acquaintance with the with the, uh, the justice systems, I'd never I had never been arrested for anything. Right, but I mean, would it? I mean, it just seems like you would have you would have had to know. Maybe I know because I've watched so many of these videos that just remain silent. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I it, it's it. For me, I, I not having any experience with it at all. I thought, you know, and then, and then I hadn't at that point. Um, I didn't have a a feeling that, that I did anything wrong. Right. And but that that combination uh, caused me to. Um, to talk. I mean, and and then I was saying that it, you were also drinking too, so that might have loosened you up to talk. Yes, I had I had had a couple of drinks earlier in the evening. Yes, and that certainly did have an effect. Mhm. But anyway. Wow. But is there is everything better now? I mean, as far as you're... No, I no, I, I mean, as far as that that thing is concerned, I I still have a probation officer, and this is um, this has been ten years. Jesus. And uh, a matter of fact, uh, yeah, no, it's not any better. I, in terms of everything else, so uh, I've. Um, I do. I have dialysis. I have dialysis three three times a week. Oh wow! My physical my physical life is. Uh, I, I've had uh, um, prostate cancer and prostate removed. And um, physic and physically, I, and, and at my age, which is uh, seventy two. Did you Did you think those uh those the uh, the guy the guy that was interviewing you was a f- fucking idiot, right? Did you did you get the same sense that I did when I was watching it? I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know. I totally did not. And uh, yeah, 
I don't, and I don't think about it today, except when I, again, when my probation officer comes around or there's a change in, in, in things that they let me know. Right. My re- registration changes in, in the, uh, well, in December. And, uh, that's about it. You have to, you have to do like a, a, a picture. I, I see some of your pictures. You have like those round glasses and, other stuff, but is that is that a yearly thing you have to do? No, it's, it's uh, twice a year. Tw- damn, twice a year. When did you get out of that? When you off that program? Well, it it it, it actually starts this coming. Uh, well, in in February, I think they're going to consider dropping dropping me, which they should. I'm as <laughs> There, there is no safer person in the world. Yeah. Uh, no offense to you, but uh, I when I, I I don't like talking about it. I understand. Yes, I mean I I understand what you're saying. I, I've uh, for a lo- for many years I've rewatched your uh, interrogation video. It just, I'm, I'm just fascinated by it. It's over two hours long. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. It, there's something about it. There's just something about a teen body. I was actually watching it this week. No bullshit. Um, I don't know. There's just something about, something about that video and the, the way you handled yourself. Oh, well, and and uh, in regards to what do you would what is, is your what is your viewpoint? Well, I, I I think you tried uh, you tried to be you, you were trying to be your mistake was you tried to be friends with the interrogators when they were there to just bust you. I, and, and I said I would have uh, waited to speak to my attorney. Uh, that was the main main thing. You didn't take it as, uh, you took it too lightly. I, I think you are, you're, you're right on. Uh, I don't remember the exact uh, the things that I said. I don't, I've, I've never watched it. Yeah. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to watch it. And, uh, yeah, well, that's where it's at. Well, I, I, I've had it for tonight. So I appreciate your call, and in, in one sense, in the second sense, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to think about it. I, know, I understand that. That was what twelve years ago. Jeez, it was uh, two thousand seven. Yeah. Was that? Is that twelve years ago? Yeah. I want to wrestle you so freaking bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know, there's a there's a guy on YouTube who uh, uses your your decoy call and it has prank calls. You could probably shut him down if you reported it. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. The people that I deal, the people that I talk with, the people I deal with in life, uh, they don't, they don't. Con- they, most of them know that what I've gone through, right. and uh, and they don't, uh, you know, doesn't uh, change our relationship. You could probably shut them down if you reported it. I don't think so. You could probably shut them down if you reported it. Fuck you. I don't care. I do care. You could probably shut them down if you reported it. Again, uh, I don't care. Fuck you, son of a bitch. I am sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. More rush calls, please. Okay. More rush calls, please. Okay. More rush calls, You ever suck dick? Yes, I have sucked dicks many times. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Okay. Hey, listen, listen. Do you want to fuck me? Yes, I want to fuck you. What happens when I get there? You want to fuck me? Yes. Leg spread and I will blank you right away. <laughs> okay. Okay. How is, uh, how is the, in that video you mentioned, uh, a lady, one of your, like, lady friends who was possibly battling, uh, breast cancer, was she okay? You said her mom also had it, and she, her husband was a judge, and he wasn't letting you visit her? Oh, that, that but the thing was that, uh, she, she, they were divorced. I don't think her mother had breast cancer uh, that's, she's I guess she's fine I've not ne- I've not seen her either oh, I've not seen her since I was released from prison how long were you in there three and a half Jesus. years uh, and it was a it was, it was not a totally bad situation for me I uh, because of my music I was able to uh, play in the, uh, the church programs. I played. I played for three three dom- denominations. I was I was playing a lot. Incarcer- when I was incarcerated, I, pl- I played for the well the, uh, the the guy I was in charge yeah. of the religious programs. Right. Yeah. Uh... So I guess people people knew in there what what you were convicted of. Or? So, well, the the there were all there were three of us from uh, that were uh, in the uh, that were picked up. Uh, there were there were more than three, but the, there were three of us that were at uh, where I was in National. So. And uh, not very many people knew. There were people who knew you. And, and the, the story about Ashland is it was a it was a uh, um, a low medium. I mean, no, it was a medium, and the, the it's the lowest that they could put uh, sex offenders in. Right. And so there were quite a quite a few of them there. There were other people that had problems, with, but most of, most of the people who I had contacts with were related to to the church, and 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 they they backed you up. It was um, it was not a bad experience in terms of that. It uh, it gave you a chance to know that the the people that you were dealing with weren't weren't too bad. Yeah. And, uh, well, but, uh, it's like, you know, uh, the, the, the total answer here that I'm trying to give, give to you as straight as possible. I spent that time in prison and I get out here and I get deathly sick and, uh, I, I literally spend my weeks going to either the doctors or having a, a therapist or I don't talk I'm not talking about a mental therapist occupational therapist that that uh, deal with some of my balance problems that I have and and uh, so I, I really spend my time either. Uh, in, in medical, but that's all been a result of uh, not not being in prison. The prison didn't put me here. Um, diabetes put me here, and uh, so I, I, I tried to live my life the best I can, especially my family. Been very supportive. Uh, I mean, very very supportive. Uh, my sister comes over to, to to my place every oh I don't know. Every three or four weeks, and she does some things for me that I can't do. So, anyway, well, that's it for tonight.
Yep, it was a pleasure talking to you. I've been, seriously, I've been wanting to talk to you for many years. Um, I, I hope I was fair in my, like I said, I wasn't here to bully you. I just wanted to, I've really been wanting to speak with you for a long time. Well, uh, I, I, I guess I, I should be appreciative of that, but I'm sorry you had to meet me that way. That certainly is not the way I am. Well, I understand, but it, it, I mean, it's, I don't know if you ever, if you ever watch it, it, it's, or if you don't watch it, just know it was a great interview, um, two hours plus, um, it was just really good stuff. In terms of what, though? In terms of, 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 uh, uh, of somebody getting suckered? <laughs> Nah, well, you know what, if, if you really want me to be honest, uh, the, the thing that fascinated me the most was you wanted to blame other people for something you did wrong. Yeah. That, that, I think that's, that's where you come across in the whole To Catch a Predator community. That, that's, that's where your name is. You, uh, you made a mistake, that's fine, but you wanted to blame others for it. And I think that's what makes you um, infamous or famous, however you want to put it, in the TCAP community. Um, but again, you were drinking too, so maybe that had something to do with it. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe that's the way I was back then. Yeah. You sure you want to fuck me? Yes, I am sure I still want to fuck you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So, well, anyway, I'm going to bed. Okay, have a good night, Jim. Uh-huh. Fuck you. Bye-bye. Bye. Holy fuck. I cannot believe I eat shit. Thank you for your encouragement. I'm so happy. Your great 